moment is here, you can stop your search, it's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch, and here's a question that I think is a great one. Um, it is, uh, I, this, this falls into that kind of, um, I, I don't know, more inside baseball kind of conversation, pricing of comics in other markets. So it's a great question. It's an opportunity to talk about something that's pretty obscure that all of like, I, I don't know, 10 of you are going to care about, but I think are really cool. But you know, it, I'm often surprised. Sometimes, uh, you know, you guys love these kinds of, of questions, and I love them too, so you can kind of hear it in my voice. So the question uh, goes basically like this. Howdy, Perch. I live in Spain uh, and was in my LCS the other day when I noticed comic prices while browsing around. The usual price for a Marvel floppy uh, was around €3, Euro, while the DC Comics being uh, 250 and Tom King's, the T and Tom is in parentheses, Supergirl, was 225 and then he explains the T in parentheses is due to King's severely low testosterone levels, especially in his superhero books. Good Lord. Good. <laughs> I love how there are some people in comics. This is probably a subject for another video where they are just going to get dumped on forever. I, I mean, Tom King is one of those. There's like at this point, uh, it's never going it, to, it, he's, he's going to have this, this forever. Um, I, I, it's, it's funny to me. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he takes it all in stride and has a good sense of humor about it. That's, um, I'm sure that is the case. Anyway, sorry, the mail continues. I'm a dummy on the internet, just like you and everyone else listening, and I don't know how international licenses work. But it still makes me wonder how Panini and ECC can sell these, these prices while domestic prices for comics are literally double in the amount of DC's case. My LCS owner's explanation was the U.S. has a higher standard of living, uh, which I understand um, and could see it being a thing, but I don't think that's it. It is not. Hopefully it's an interesting topic for a video. Well, I think so. Uh, so to break down this a little bit, if you didn't follow all that, if you go into other markets, uh, Spain being one of them, uh, but a lot of places in Europe, you will notice that the pricing for comics is, as mentioned here, about half. Half of what uh, they're selling for in the U.S. Now, why is that? Why, why is it that over in Europe... Uh, there's a much cheaper price point. What what's going on? Why do they get why do they get that opportunity that advantage uh, that we don't see in the U.S. Uh, there's actually two real reasons for that. Uh, the reason is not that the U.S. has a standard uh, higher standard of living. In fact, if you go to Spain, you'll find that in many cases there are parts of it that are you know it's much more expensive to live in some areas than in in the U.S. I mean, like if you're comparing New York to uh, I don't know, a uh, small town outside Madrid. Yeah, that's going to be it's going to be much cheaper in in Madrid. Uh, but if you're if you're in Barcelona, Barcelona can cost as much as LA in some cases. It it can be expensive to live there. Um, my uh, my brother in law lives in Spain, so or has lived in Spain. He's he's moved all around, but loves it in Spain. I like Spain too. I I used to love going to Barcelona. Uh, there's this place called Los Rambles, which is right the heart of the city. It goes, uh, to the, basically to the beach, to the, uh, not, there's not a beach there, but to the water, the beach is a little further down the, the coast, but Los Ramblas is great. It's also the place where you get pickpocketed really easily because it's a very crowded tourist destination spot. And it's notorious for, uh, theft. Um, and then at about, uh, you know, cause people eat dinner late over in, uh, in Spain, like many places in Europe, about 1130 at night, it transforms from a tourist destination to the place to go to get a prostitute. And uh, the, a lot of the prostitutes are there, uh, are people hanging around with um, selling beer. And then the beer is also narcotics. Uh, you can get from the same location. But uh, And a lot of the prostitutes, uh, uh, well, as Austin Powers would say, that's a man, baby. So there's a got to be careful what you're after. Uh, no, I don't know from firsthand experience, but um, I do know from firsthand experience that uh, you know, going to Barcelona, walking Los Rambles late at night, uh, they get very grabby. So you have to you have to keep moving. If you don't keep moving, you know you can you, you anyway, people get grabby. I'll just put it that way. Uh, so anyway, what's going on with the cheaper prices over in Europe? Well, uh, the biggest uh, reason is it uh, there's a consulting firm called BCG that you might have heard of uh, quite they're one of they're not a, not the size of Accenture or McKinsey or others but actually they did a study about I want to say 15 years ago 12 15 years ago about comic book pricing in particular uh, 
I don't remember who commissioned this study. It wasn't Marvel or DC. It was it probably it wasn't Diamond, but it was somebody in this this overall value chain that's trying to figure out, you know, how to set market pricing for these different areas. And what you what they found was the the cost for a publisher to distribute over in some of these other markets was significantly less because the cut from the LCS, the cut from um, you know from the distributor in this case Diamond and others. Um, it was it was just more affordable. Uh, you could get a higher margin if you were the publisher publishing over those areas because fewer people were taking money out of the overall pot. That's uh, that's how it was going. And so this it became uh, and also the second piece of information they found is that um, the the amount of money to be made in those markets on U.S. comics, you know, specifically was a lot less. So the conclusion that Marvel and DC kind of came to was it's not worth spending a lot of our own mental energy going there. It's not a market that is going to make us a lot of money. It, 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 you know, the U.S. absolutely dwarfs what we can make over in Europe and, so, and even markets in South America to some extent, although you don't have the same kind of price disparity. Um, but the idea was, hey, uh, we can afford to sell it lower there because we get a higher cut. We're still not going to make as much money as we do in the U.S., but we'll make, um, you know, we'll make some, you know, we'll make some money there. And it's uh, it's basically market seeding and we're taking a lot less of the risk. So going through somebody like Panini or ECP or some of these others, um, it is uh, it, it's more affordable for them to, to take this market. Sorry, ECC, not ECP. Um, it's more affordable for uh, the publishers to put something out there, there's lower risk. In some cases, there's even models that are similar to the newsstand where they're able to get some pre-commits up front so they know they're not going to be money out and they can put these things there and, and they're not publishing all the comics there. They're, you know, In many cases, there's some imports and other things. You do have Diamond over in, the Euro the, in, in Europe as well, but these cuts are different. So, you know, simple answer. Uh, the money is more favorable to the publisher to get stuff out. Um, it's seen as a growth market and not a revenue generating market. So they take a lower cut in addition to those things. And the risk is actually lowered because there is some levels of, you know, you're talking about the LCS, but some of the other things that get distributed, which help the overall pot are still distributed to newsstands and other places like that. And so, you know, you're seeing, you're seeing a slightly different business model for the comics. So that's the answer. It's a boring answer, but that is the answer. Um, it's just a mix of different parts of the overall system that are at play there that allow the market to be a little bit more favorable and why the comics are less. The other thing that is there that, that you hear a lot at the publisher, so if you ask somebody who works for comics, they will give you this answer, which I don't think is, is true, but they say it, is that due to fluctuation of the U.S. dollar against the euro, um, you know, something like a you know, three euro price back when the dollar was not as competitive, um, you know, that, that, that the money was, was about this. I mean, it, it, it balanced out, but since things have tightened somewhat and as the money has fluctuated around, you know, they haven't correspondingly adjusted the comics. And so that's another reason why the price is, is lower there because of the Euro to dollar value has moved around. Now, why I'd say that isn't that big of a topic is that the idea of currency changing value is not new. This isn't something that just started occurring a year ago. Uh, currency fluctuates all the time. And there's definitely higher trends, you know, like, for example, today, you know, $1 will buy you a small mansion in Canada because of how crappy their dollars. I joke. I'm joking. All you wonderful Canadian listeners, I'm, I'm just joking. Your, your currency is very strong and proud and, you know, you should, you should be very proud of your money. Uh, but uh, my point is that, uh, that I, because things have been fluctuating around for so much, um, this isn't like somebody made a mistake and it's biting them here in the last two years. This has always been the case. And generally, the pricing of comics and periodicals and other things account for that. So it's not, it's not that big a deal. Anyway, there you go. I hope that answer was uh, satisfying. It's a fun answer to speculate on. You might even, it might even create the follow-up question, which is, hey, if it's a cedar market, then why don't they treat some of the U.S. the same and lower the price in the U.S.? and help seed more comic fans. If, if they're if applying that strategy overseas, why not in this country? Especially since, uh, you know, for the companies that are owned by Marvel and DC, where they could afford to do things like that. And my answer to that is, uh, well, thanks for listening.